Now, I want to say what I'm about to say with charity and grace and nuance, uh, but I need to say this because to speak about purpose-filled commitments on Life Sunday here in 2021 and to not say what I'm about to say uh, after a lot of wrestling with this this week, I came to the conclusion would be to disrespect and dishonor the clear message of Scripture here. Throughout history, but especially in the American Christianity of recent decades, many of us who call ourselves Christians have sacrificed our commitments to King Jesus on the altar of our political commitments. Both left and right, we've embraced falsehood, conspiracy theories, and slander instead of the truth. We've prioritized passing our agendas, confirming our judges, and communicating our rhetoric rather than doing what's right. We've demonized those who oppose us, we've radicalized those who think like us, and we've sought to divide people from one another rather than loving them. Now that has not always happened, but it has happened with increasing frequency and increasing severity. It's happened this year in our country and in our church. American Christians have put our political causes ahead of our allegiance to King Jesus, and that is wrong. It's sinful. It distracts people from the good news of Jesus. It distorts relationships. It draws people away from life and towards death. And we need to repent of that. We need to repent of prioritizing our political commitments before the commitments of Christ. We need to repent of making our ideologies more important than our allegiance to King Jesus. And not only do we need to say we are sorry about it, we need to change our behavior. And we need to follow Jesus' way before any other cause, idea, person, or commitment. And so again, I ask, will you commit yourself to the truth? Even if it makes you uncomfortable. I actually uh, want to throw one more thing at you from Pastor Russell Moore uh, this week. He said, if the world rejects us because of Christ and him crucified, so much the worse for the world. But if the world rejects us because they think Christ is just a mascot for what we would already be supporting or doing, even if Jesus were still dead, then God have mercy on us. Will you commit yourself to the truth, even if it makes you uncomfortable? Will you commit to sharing and speaking the truth with all of the hard work that that might take for you before you post on Facebook? Will you do the right thing even if it hurts? Will you stand for what's right even if it's unpopular? Will you love your enemies? Not just tolerate them, love them. Love them even if they are personally doing you wrong. These are not abstract questions for you this morning. These are real, palpable questions that make a difference in your day-to-day -day life and how you treat your family and your friends and your co-workers and your neighbors and your acquaintances. Your commitments to Caesar must come after your commitments to King Jesus. Your politics has to be subservient to your theology. What you do has to flow from who you follow. That, my friends, is how we live out purpose-filled commitments.